I'm Sam Sheridan from Sheridan Computers, and I believe we've just taken the delivery of a 16 port 10 gig switch. Uh, you'll have to bear with me in this video. This is what a case of red wine looks like the morning after. Uh, if you like this video, please um, hit the like button. If you find anything useful in there, consider subscribing to the channel. If you hit the notifications icon, you'll receive notifications of any new videos as they are released. If you would like to hire us for anything, minus the red wine of course, uh, head across to our website at sheridan.co.uk if you click on the hire us button, fill out the form, leave some details on what you're looking for and we'll get back to you. While you're on our website you can have a look around and you'll be able to find more information on my company, some of the clients that we deal with and what we do. So let's um, switch across and take a look at this delivery that we've received. So this delivery has come from uh, our friends over at Scan Computers. I used to work there many moons ago. A long while ago, let's rip this apart and see what's inside. Just adjusted the camera so we can see this a little better. So we have our Unify 16 port 10 gigabit switch. We'll take a look at that in a second. And we also have, what's in here? Uh, some two terabyte, well, 1.92 terabyte Kingston hard drives. Uh, we have six of these things that we've just received for the project that we're doing. Looks like going as NAS storage. So now let's take a look at our switch. So if we take it out of the box, drinking on a skill night is uh, not big and not clever, guys. Let's just take this out. Yeah, we get my fingers in it. Open the box, see what we have. So we have rack mount tiers, so it is rack mountable. There's coffee on the end of the desk there, the desk is working. Uh, European power lead, they're not much use guys. As always, the quick start guide, we we'll put that the right way up. We have some uh, cage nuts and screws. The screws for the ears. And look at this beauty. Uh, how do we take you apart? So I can see couple of screws on the rear. I'll we'll go ahead and rip them out real quick and take a look inside this switch. Um, we have some couple of screws on the bottom. Let's take them out. So we slide it back that way. Okay, so there's, um, yeah, you're quite safe to take the lid off. There's nothing that you're going to catch when you take the lid off. Um, so as you saw, there's two fans with modular plugs, so they look easy enough to replace should one of them die. Um, we've got two heat sinks. I'm guessing this one is for the SFP plus ports, and this one is for the RJ45 ports um, because they will get quite hot under load. Um, that's it's quite tidy in here. So we've got the main power supply and this is a 24 volt 48 volt power supply here. Um, yeah you can get in here it's quite easy to take apart you're not gonna catch anything taking the lid off. Just go ahead put it back together. 
Put the ears on real quick. So, we're back together. Um, let's go ahead and power it up. Put some power into it. Drag this window over a little bit out of the way. Um, so here's our switch. I'm gonna adopt and upgrade. Right, so uh, we're connected, we've adopted, it's been upgraded. Um, there's a bit of noise coming out from this, it's not too noisy. Um, we've got the usual switch information. You can see we've got the SFP plus ports, 1 to 12, and 13, 14, 15, 16. Um, are the, the RJ45 Tengu ports. Um, we can name the individual ports. Uh, it's got Mac filters, switch profile for VLANs, um, switching mirroring or aggregate, so we can um, link ports together to improve the throughput, which we're going to do. Um, obviously it supports uh, egress rate limits as well. Let's go ahead and give it a name. I'm going to give it a tag, this is my XCPNG switch. Um, under services, we've got flow control, jumbo frames, ART pack 1x control, uh, SNMP, so pretty much the same as any other Unify switch. We can configure DHCP static IP addresses. Um, and it's got full VLAN support. Performance wise, I have no idea how this switch will perform, so we're going to um, connect it up. I'm going to go and rack it now. Uh, replace the switch that we've got in place, which is a four port Microtech. Um, I've previously done a video on that. I'll leave a link to it at the end. Um, so I'll probably do another video in um, a week or two once we've actually been using it to um, performance wise. I'll do some uh, speed tests on it, etc. And we'll see how we go. If you did find this video useful, I know it was just a simple unboxing. Um, I'm putting up with me after a case of red wine. Uh, please uh, do take the time to hit the like button, consider subscribing to the channel, if you hit the notifications icon you'll get notifications of any new videos as they are released and as always if you'd like to hire us head across to our website at sheridan.co.uk and click on the hire us button.